What's going on everybody? I'm Eric Pauly at ericpauly.com and today we are rebuilding my website from start to finish. This is part five of the video series and in this one we were going to be populating the pages with some content. So let's do that. <clears throat> All right, we got our header all ready to go over here and everything is looking good with that. So it is ready to be left alone and we can close that. And we have our apps open over here and we can take a quick glance over here. What we wanna do is I, I would like to put everything that is inside of our main page here inside of a div that controls all the content. So all the content will always be inside of a box that's below the header here. Uh, we can create the footer. Uh, it's very similar to the header. I'm, uh, I think I mentioned that in the last video. We will probably get to that after we have created all these pages and implementing that will be just as easy as implementing the header. So for now, I would like to work on these pages and for now, I'm gonna go backwards working with video first. So let's pop open both of these screens and let's open up our videos inside of our pages folder. <clears throat> Let me cough into the mic for a second. So we have a div that says video and I want to add uh, several videos here. Uh, first of all, I was going to add that div over here with the box. And I'm putting all of the routes inside of the box. So let's give the class name a border dash uh, eight. And that'll give it like a shadow box, I guess. Um, it's the default by uh, Tailwind for the border. If you hover over them, you can kind of see what they are and what they do. So there's border, like so. Um, if I do like border solid black, it'll show up solid black. You get the idea. Uh, but this is what I, I think I. Actually, let's add a width. To this right let's add width like um, 90 view width and let's see if that works correctly um, I think because there's not a div initially with full width it doesn't know where to pull that 80% from or the 80 view width, rather. So now I got both of those inside, and this one can be a flex with a justify center. And now that box is in the center. So that should control all of the content that we have inside. So I'm going to actually put this on small and above. So when you are on a smaller screen, <clears throat> the width is actually going to be more like um, 95 view width. And not only will this guarantee that it fits on the screen, but it will guarantee it stays inside of that screen. So it will never reach outside because it's 90% of your view width depending on your screen. And by doing this, um, I am setting myself up for some limitations, which I will deal with as I go down here. So each one of these routes uh, will have inside of it an additional set of content that have their own properties and uh, the class should be able to deal with the limitations that I am setting upon myself. Anyways, it's a lot of words for explaining very little. Uh, 
So I have my video here. So in this main div, I'm actually going to create another div. And we're going to make two of them. So for this first div, we want a class name of width full. So it will be the full width of that that is enabled to be in. <laughs> The full width of which it is enabled to be within, yeah. Because it's already inside of a container, it is only the able to, to fit the full width of that container. Okay. And here, we want the width to be half of that. So, width, width. And I think we can, can we just do 50%? We could just do, we could do fractions. That's even better. Great. Now I only want this to happen on medium screens or larger. Otherwise, it's going to be width full. And each one of these is going to contain the um, iframe and. Uh, information inside of that. So inside of this we can even put a flex and then the flex direction so like a flex uh, column since they're going to be up and down for our rows. Uh, not to con be confused with rows, I apologize. So this is everything that we need for this one and honestly I could just copy it and uh, get rid of the uh, second div I have here. So inside of each one of these are going to be an iframe with information pertaining to that iframe. Above that will be the description, such as, uh, let's say, H1, and we can just call it videos. And we could put, let's see, text center in the main div, so everything that has text will be in the center. Okay, this H1 is not very large. I would like it to be um, text uh, extra large, extra too large, or no, it's 2XL, just like clothing. So I want it big, but I don't want it obnoxious, like my giant logo over there. Um, and then font, we could do bold, or even medium. So then the rest of these can have uh, a font standard, but a text that's large and that'll do just fine I'm just gonna copy it and put it back in there like I should have done earlier okay so now with each one of these divs ready to rock we can start putting some content inside of each one of them and then describe the content so for this one we can use an h3 tag and the text should already be large but for this one, we actually want text to be extra large. Um, extra XL. Do you not, why do you not like this? Text XL. Let's save it and let's see why, why is it bickering right here. What's your problem, pal? You know, like having an H3 for some reason? Let's turn it into an H1. Nope. Doesn't like that either. Oh, it probably sees that I'm doubling up on the text. Huh. Nope. try copying this one and seeing if that 
I'm guessing this isn't an actual error. It's just um, popping up. Headings must have content. The content must be accessible by the screen reader. Okay. Yeah, they literally didn't like that I was using a heading in an area that you don't use heading. Interesting. No, um, that's a new problem for me. I never had that uh, error pop up before. So uh, here I wanted to put some extra large text, double extra large. Um, that being instead of videos. So I have my uh, vlog videos. And you know what would be great is if I put a border around these as well. Border, and what was it? Just border dash a number, right? Dash, okay, there we go. Dash eight. Let's try that. I like this, like, see-through borders. I don't know why. They're, like, faintly there. Okay. And then uh, these two. One, two, three. Let's do that. And so these are set to be a column, and that is correct. That's what we want. Flex column here. So these used to be the same thing, a flex column, which means that this one should be a flex row. Oh, nope, that's not the one. I want to put both of those. I just need these inside of a div. DIV, and let's just add the class name to it now, like so. Flex and a flex row. Flex and a flex row. Uh, and just those two are inside of that. So now they're next to each other. Right? And so this didn't work. At least not like I had thought it would. So with full, with full, and if with full, um, now if they, what I want though, is if this is only going to be if it's on a medium screen. So now if I shrink it down and I'm on a smaller screen, what I want instead is a flex column. And then they will be stacked. So now if I enlarge the screen to medium, so anything about yay high or smaller will be like so. So the vlog videos. Let's see if that'll is that gonna be big enough for a video? I mean we could see it might end up being where these are uh, on set on small instead. Or large, I guess. It'd be large. So they'd be on top of each other until about well, here, which is a, about as small as you would want to watch a video, I guess, is in that little box. Perfect. Now inside, 
where our vlog videos are. One, two, three. Obviously, it's not going to be one, two, three. But uh, for now, I'll actually just I'll leave that so we know that that's where content is going to go. Because I can just copy and paste this once it's all um, up and running the way that we like it. So I'm going to add a knife frame. And the source is going to be a, a YouTube and then uh, let's see what else do we need for this a title title is going to be uh, vlogs vlog I don't know should I close it or I don't remember if you close it probably close it then. okay now let's just add um, our content that's why I had this open over here so let's just go ahead and add so not tutorials we want web development with Eric Pauly and no we want web vlog there we go copy that link now I got that and I'm gonna plop it into the source and paste it. Let's save. Sorry, YouTube refused to connect. All right, let me take a look and see how I did this last time. Because I remember that's YouTube. I think required a key of some sort. Something to that effect. I think I just put these all inside of a. Uh, I should have been put them inside of a button. Where's tutorials? Let's do that one. Where's the iframe itself? gamepad it should be like the screen looking through this old website of mine you might be understanding why I would like to rebuild it from the ground up uh, it's a little unorganized a little bit it must be outside of here to be in the source. Let's look in the source. What do you find? Camera? YouTube link. I'm guessing that's... Okay, so no. No iframes. There it is, Jiminy Christmas. Okay. I think we need this bit right here. Frame border, allow, allow screen, and then close it like so. Let's try it out over in mine over here. Let's see. Right here. Okay, frame border, it's crossing that out for me, like it doesn't like it. Oh well, let's save it and see if it responded accordingly. Nope. Let's see, do I have to just pull the iframe directly out? Let's see. Yeah, I do need to actually embed it directly from the site because the website itself is different. Embed slash. OK. 
Okay, so we're going to hop on over to the left screen and take a look over here. I think edit. And then embed. Where? Or am I able to just do it directly from here? What's on, buddy? My name is Eric. Pause. Gosh darn it. And share. Embed. <laughs> There it is. All right, we want to show player controls and enhance, enable privacy enhanced mode. And when you turn on privacy enhanced, YouTube won't store information about visitors on your website unless they play the video. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to store information on you unless you. Okay, I'm going to go back over here to my code. Literally copy and paste over that iframe. And then uh, let's take a look and see how that ended up. Let's close out a bunch of this. All right, there's the, there's the video that we wanted. Right? All right. But one immediate issues that we would like to uh, center them. So we could probably do that over here inside of this div with the flex column just uh, justify center and align or it's no it's item item center. Okay. And the videos. Let's see what's going on with that border. Video vlogs is has a border on it. That's not what we wanted the border on. We wanted the border on the div, like so. So now it's more centered. Okay, and we can add a class name on this guy too. Class name on the iframe and the iframe class name we can add like a shadow and like extra large and did that show up like I want it to let's see shadow extra large yeah and border dash eight Okay, that border is aggressive. I'm going to cut it in half. Kind of don't like the way that that looks. I'm just going to get rid of this right here, save it, and um, let's see. Instead of doing that, let's do like a margin bottom. Margin bottom four. Okay, that's more like what I wanted. And uh, I'm going to put a margin bottom four on the text as well. Margin bottom four. And a margin top four. Okay, so it's separated and uh, ready to rock like that. Um, now, it's currently looking okay like this because it's. Um, taking up more space than it's going to be allowed to here momentarily, but yeah, so it's a, it'll look fine once it's uh, put together, because on a large screen, most of the time you're going to have it open all the way like so. And uh, we could fill that in a little bit with a little bit of color background color, like late 100 what's that look like I'm putting that on the wrong thing aren't I so this is the uh, it should be right yeah okay slate 100 I just barely tell that that's there I'm gonna turn it up 200. 
Okay, that looks better to me. Um, I'm going to look at it really quick on this screen. Okay. I have screens set with uh, slightly different color adjustments so I can tell if it looks properly depending on your settings on your screen. There's a reason for everything. Unless there isn't, I guess. Uh, Alright, we got one video set up here. We can add um, we can add this exact set of paragraph right under the iframe, but instead of 2XL, we just want like medium. Uh, yes. And we can populate this with some text. This is my monthly video update on my progress as a software engineer. I uh, record then at the beginning of every month. Check it out now. Right. And there's some information pertaining to what you got going on here. I'm probably going to change the heading to make it just a bit darker because you can barely tell where one ends and when the other one begins. And for this entire thing right here, is this it? That's all of them, so we want this one. Now all of them is what we want, so then we can add a margin bottom. MB-8. And that actually ended up filling out like a footer. So we want actually towards this one. So that way it's not a white bar underneath right here. Which is doing that anyways, so. The background is slate. Oh, because the background of the, the rest is not. So if I just add to the bottom of this, that will honestly give me what I want. It's essential. It's just not applying the CSS property to the margin bottom, so it's creating a white bar that I did not enjoy. Um, okay. So when I shrink the size, it's starting to look pretty good. Okay. Now with that ready to rock, I can literally just delete this one and uh, add in and duplicate the one that I already have and then just change the properties accordingly so I'll explain as I go video vlogs that's not what we want here we want 80 second tutorials and I, uh, I teach, this is a hard one for me to explain, I teach by, uh, pooping in a circle, I teach, hold on, as I learn, 
I learn as I teach. That is super cheesy. Uh, Uh, let's see, how do I... I decided on 80 seconds to challenge myself by relaying relaying uh, let's see useful information quickly that may be indexed for others and my own use and my own future use. I decided to create 80 second tutorials in order to challenge myself. All right, so there's that, there's this. That is one thing I could try to change is make this right here dynamic. So, Let me see if that actually works. So let's copy it and paste it and try like mid and save first of all. And no, it doesn't understand what I'm trying to do. Now, if I get rid of this, save. Save. What if I get rid of the width altogether and save? Now, what if I tell the width right here to be the size that I would like? Width max. Nope. What if I left that width there originally? Save. It seems like that width was taking over. Width full is taking over as well. That's great. That's what I wanted in the first place. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be able to just get this no cookie over here and uh, copy and paste just the link so then I make sure to save my uh, class name functions and such. Now if I go smaller what CSS does. Height dash. Let's mess with this height until we get it looking nice. Auto. So what happens if I do width auto? What are you saving? Save. don't like that at all. You just broke, broke it. Yeah. Yeah, 
see you're going outside of it now. I don't like that at all. Where is, uh, where was that that I was just working on? Oh. That's embarrassing. With full. And if I shrink it, I don't like that the height is not responding as well. But the height x h is n h is full. bigger screen it doesn't like the width full. So well, actually let's do everything large. Is it width full? Now right, what changed here that's making this active? All the way off. Okay, now they're extra broken. Is that right? Okay, let's see what's going on here. Looks like the width is getting messed up on this one. So let's see. Is the height of this thing messing with it? quick. If I add a bunch of those, will it destroy? No, just, uh, okay, so it does like them to be centered like that, but that's a, that's an easier fix than what I thought it was. Like that. Just so they're even. But my issue still Once you start breaking it apart, it looks ugly. What happened? Let's see. So that looks great. Medium looks weird. So that's medium right there. And the width is still... It just can't be full width. I think that's really what the issue is. I'm going to delete this while I'm still working on the first one. Okay. And if I just duplicate it one more time and just make sure I edit both at the same time. Probably could have uh, saved that text. That would have been smart. Just this. Well, like so. One, two, boom. And let's copy this and put it right here. 
Okay. Great. I'm gonna save it and refresh. And they refresh nice and neat. Go like so. And then right here is where they look broken. So, I think. Because I'm being too picky with the width on this width can change right so on a large screen width is 480 pixels. Okay. And uh, I wish I could just scale everything accordingly. Let's see. What's 480 going? Let's like 80, 80 times. So five, six, seven. So it goes into it seven times. So 315 divided by seven. That's a calendar calculator. 315 divided by 7. It's 45. We're going to just subtract 45. And LG is width. And dash, what is it? What was it? Three, two, um, 270. <laughs> Height. Cool. Okay. Let's do the same thing with the one above it. Where is it at? There it is. Let's paste that in there. And now you can see that they're a little lopsided, and that's just because of this BR right here. And now I should be able to, okay, so that, oh, because the text, the text is doing that. Um, really what this means is that I should not be justifying or, uh, yeah, aligning items here. So it's videos and inside of both, we don't want item center let's make sure that that's the one nope it would be justify center is that correct vertical okay that's what we wanted I probably could have fixed stuff a long time ago, honestly, but humans, you know, we live, we learn. Okay, let's just name uh, these videos down here properly. So this is actually 80 second tutorial. to the 80 seconds yeah they do yeah see I don't like that that doesn't fit on the screen right away right away either so the height and width need to change right about here so you can see like still the okay 
Okay, I could literally just subtract some from it and we'll even it out best we can. Two sixty. That still kinda looks boogery. Let's reduce the border. All the way. Push it just right out of reach, it fits perfectly fine. Cool. Um, so now, between these two videos, so this one that we would want uh, on a large screen margin right like six so there's a little bit of separation so then those text you can clearly tell one goes inside the other um, could probably do the same thing here uh, you can even just add maybe padding of like five. That's too much. Adding like two. Okay. And then adding like. Let's just do padding top dash one. Let's see. Um, P. T. Yeah, so I'm just going to do these manually so then it doesn't look so off. That's two, and then PR dash three. PL dash three. We want to do them even more than that. I want to really be able to tell what text belongs to what. Let's go ahead and copy all those. Um, I should put a little padding on the bottom. Hold on a second. Padding bottom. Let's do like five. So it's relatively unnecessary. But... I like a little extra on the bottom for when you're on mobile and you're scrolling down and you want to make sure that you can see all the way down to the bottom of the page. I hate it when there's text at the very bottom of, the, of my phone. Okay, we want to add that same set of padding to the other paragraph. And there's that. It looks pretty nice and neat. Okay, now we just need that link for the 80 second tutorials. And those will be here. Developer tutorials. And I'm going to copy that link. And let's just hop back on over here to our iframe. We want the second one, which is labeled 80 second tutorials. And I'm going to plop that in there and save it. And it doesn't like that. So you can't, you can't do that. Oh yeah, because I need to go to the, <laughs> I literally just did this. Okay, developer tutorials. What's going on everybody? Stop My it. Name is Eric Stop it. Uh, is that the one that I already did? Yes. So we want the vlog. We already did uh, this one. We want the vlog. Show me the vlog. Copy. All right, and put this in the vlog. Uh, hold on. Let me Undo that first. 
and redo this. And I did it again. We need to click on the vlog, pause it, and share and embed. Because we want this link. Okay. And that was for the YouTube vlog videos. Save that. Let's take a look. There it is. Goodness golly. And if you can see, the height is messed up as well. Just a smidge on there in the videos. So I'm going to. Since I added some margin, I need to actually make these even smaller. Let's go 250 and 440. Just because I want to make sure that they always fit. Okay, so that margin bottom over here is a little bit overdone and dry. If you ask me so let's check out that paragraph and see why the margins so gigantic we don't need it get out of here and the margin top and that uh, conflict with one another pretty well so let's go uh, wait oh undo and let's actually just set this to be on a large screen only and do the same thing with this one over here so large and so that way that just gets rid of that altogether and now it's just the margin top I do believe here on the 80 second tutorials Let's find out. Okay. So that can be on a large screen as well. Perfect. I think that's looking really good. Um, I think essentially this, this page itself is only missing the footer so everything should be working on here pretty well and I think I like the way that it's coming around let's make sure that these actually do work and that they stay inside the place they are supposed to be I keep on playing that sorry um, I thought you were able to like check the videos or like see the next one or something but See if I have to go over here. It's a different link. Isn't there? Okay, there's share. Is this a different list? Let's see. Is playlist not on my link? I don't think it is. Because it's not a playlist. So, first we're going to add this one to the bottom link. And this is the tutorials. Whoa, what'd you do? I need this link. Copy it, and I will paste it here. Paste, save. What's it look like? Okay, that's what we wanted. It wasn't giving me a playlist earlier. It was just giving me the single video. That's not what we wanted, so we're changing it. Channel content, and now we got tutorials, so we want this one here. And embed, and we just want the video link because we don't want to redo all those CSS adjustments that we have already done. And if I save that, Okay, now it's got the nice little playlist for you to look through all the videos. Or 
there's two nice video setups here ready to go it's got a whole bunch of videos that you are now able to access when you click on the videos link on my website that's currently not available uh, but if you're watching this here in the near future it is available and it's time that's just how time works uh, okay let's hop on over to git and I'm gonna go control J let's save this page make sure everything's saved let's control C and yes and git add dot to add everything git commit dash M and in quotes we're gonna go ahead and say that we have created video page with iframe video players on a responsive page and uh, yes this took a little bit longer than I had anticipated but uh, I'm really pleased with the outcome and I'm hope hoping you feel the same with that one now get uh, push and I'm gonna push that so everything in this video is currently available on github and you can check that out over here github.com slash eric Pauly. the link is in the bio and uh, that's the readme from for my website actually and uh, I need to adjust all that so as you can see in our commit here number five here we go one minute ago we've uh, added uh, all the CSS and everything for the video page as well as some uh, little add additions to the app around the router we added the div with the border in order to keep everything inside of this box and then we added more boxes so everything stays in this nice professional looking container all right with that uh, on the next video I'll be populating pages with the uh, portfolio contact blog about and then the home page I plan on uh, actually animating something with Animate CC for the homepage. And uh, until next time, I will see you there.